can they get any sweeter? Can they get any sweeter? My baby. You're so sweet. Okay, we've we're gonna got need travel. We're gonna need about that much travel drop. We've decided we've got to raise the back drop. Drop more. So we've got Roy right here uh, yeah. helping me. Uh, uh, yeah, maybe uh, helping me uh, fix uh, the brakes on my 580k. Uh, they're really a joke. Uh, they're hard to get to. You have to drop the differential to get the housing off. Uh, it's really a poor design. I hope nobody else has to go through this. But uh, anyway, we're preparing to do it. We look for videos online, and there's Roy found one. <laughs> I'm pretty amazed that there isn't a whole bunch of them. Online trying to find a video. So, on anyway, we're going to show you how we did it. Uh, we never found any that is spe specific to brakes on the 580K. We're blocking the machine up for safety. Not going to rely on the outriggers. We've got Rodolfo here helping us too. need to hit that, you just need to hit the, the body of the machine. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to pull the seat and give us some space. Because we had to remove the seat and remove the floorboard to get the linkages disconnected. You even have to remove the floorboard to bleed the brakes. It's amazing how difficult this machine is to work on. <laughs> Bar. Yeah, I need something to just get it started. Yeah. There's just no room in this machine to get inside the cab. So all I need is a sneaky extra leverage. Now we gotta tackle the floorboard. Getting that up can you be a challenge. Slide it down out of the back. I'll grab, it. I'll grab the back. Like I said, it's heavy, man. Not a one man job. Wow, that is a stubborn one. I'm gonna put the ratchet on it here. I'm gonna get it really quicker. It's different as I pull it up. It's probably gonna just crow down the end. There we go. I got this GoPro on. See, we have to drop the transmission about four inches because this housing is trapped behind the frame. You can't even, can't even get to the bolts. Now we got to look at this stuff. Yeah, that linkage has to be disconnected so when we pull down, we don't pull something we don't want to pull. We want to take this linkage off 
And look for any other shit out here. We got the machine high and enough off the ground that we can drain directly oh, wow. into a pail now. Uh, that food is looking pretty dark. <laughs> It's probably from the brakes. <laughs> it so could be. The brakes are really... Yeah, it's got to do for a change job. Okay, um, I think there's a pile of dirt up there. I think we'll loosen this okay, hose loosen to... Uh, hydraulic line, return line. So that it doesn't so stretch that, that steel too. ...can drop without oil uh, uh, bending the pipe. Too bad I didn't... I got a couple pro propane tanks at home that I want to fix up. Well, and well. And make them a little... Like, mm -hmm. Now it's time to drop the drive shaft. It's front wheel PTO. The hydraulic pump shaft. Yeah, it goes to the front wheels. Drive line. Oops. Okay, the Harbor, Harbor Freight transmission jack not lifting the transmission. <laughs> no, we got to devise a different plan. It'll hold it, but it won't raise it. Frame this way just a little bit. Like that. It needs to rest right where you go up there, right? So, that's about what we need. I'm thinking. Not what we're Time for another plan. Stuff in. Looks like we're going to use so we floor jack and some rigging. Lift them over it. This should look the like transaxle. That looks like what we need. <laughs> oh, I just, I just don't want to break. Yes, this plan is working. Um, but then, not to have the rain, so we tarp the machine. Hope day. the wind doesn't come up. Take it off. Bolts are removed from the axle housing. The axle housing is chained to the jack and rolled away from the transaxle. It's almost there, but gotta come this way north. thread maybe stick through there and kind of use it as a handle <laughs> no oh right a guideline yeah yeah like a guideline so. all the peeps that come here spoil you huh video kind of got ahead of things here he's putting uh, some silicone sealant on after the parts are installed hmm? um, there will be a shot here of the old parts in a second it, it gets pushed in by this lip here that's why there's teeth mark on it I think on the old ones right against the teeth of the yeah right right there. against that Here's a shot of the old brake parts. They were pretty tore up. You can see even the ears were broke off of the disc. Here's a shot of the new disc. I purchased these off of eBay. I saved about a thousand dollars over buying them from Case. Uh, I hope it wasn't a mistake. Uh, they appeared to be pretty good quality.
Here Roy's oiling them up with some transmission fluid before installing them. Now this is semi, this is my uh, freight, FedEx freight. Oh, freight guys. Okay, I got that, I got that, okay. Here's a shot of the parts installed uh, in the machine. Cleaning up the guide pin uh, before installing them. We trying to get rid of all the little metal filings and stuff that we can. Here's a shot of the guide pin in the bottom part of the transaxle. Yeah, that's all the way back in there. It's not moving. <laughs> Actually beat on it this time really good. <laughs> so afraid of breaking things. I forgot they're pretty tough. They gotta stop this machine. They gotta be pretty tough. <laughs> Trying to get that crud out of there. Make sure there's no fragments or metal. Pieces in Those are a lot lighter than the old ones. <laughs> It's just expensive like silicone. <laughs> expensive silicone. Yeah, this stuff they're not giving it away anymore. They put a little tube like that and they charge. This is super tight tolerances here. I still want to check that torque too. Make sure that's right. It just seems a little loose. I was over there torquing those on that. Huh? 
hear her over here. Yeah, she's like a purring motor. <laughs> And this actually, this plate is inside, right? It's right on the inside of that. Applying some silicone sealant the to the transaxle like housing <laughs> prior to installing the axle it's housing. Got a touch, it's clearance there. Tolerance is. Had a bunch of oil on the bottom there, it looks like. Yeah, I'm gonna, well, that's what I'm coming down to. Then I'm going to wipe that up real quick. And, before I apply my last little bit in there. They had very little, there's a very little film of sealer on here. This, this thing is milled really tight. Should have just needed it. I mean, there's no major scratches on the surfaces or anything, so it's, it's just a, they almost use like some sort of adhesive or something. It's just a really thin, I was like peeling little pieces of it here and there. In. That's what was in these bolt holes. Well, I was looking for the Loctite gasket stuff, but uh, I had to rely on phone call. And the only thing I could think of was, is that um, anaerobic sealer. It works under pressure. Yeah. And it's uh, lack of Loctite. It's got a, yeah, I think it's made by Loctite. Loctite. That's what I'm going to wipe that off and clean That's it. what I had when I put the John Deere back together. It's Loctite. They gave it to me with the gear kit. Oh, that's nice. It's just like a thin. using the transmission jack to roll the axle housing back up to the differential housing. Whoops. No, 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 don't, do that. don't slide. Move the jack line. Not off the board. It's like that board needs to <coughs> move over some, doesn't it? Yeah, I wish it could, but it hits the blocks over here. Okay, mm -hmm. What I got here, we have to slide the... Once I get the... Jack wedged in here. I think I'm there. We go now past the block. I got a rail now to go on. Push the I'll have to push the housing over on the jack. You got this uh, shifter. Yep. Yeah, I gotta get these bolts again. I need some I need a handlebar here. Almost there, but I gotta come this way more. Oh, yeah. Tilt the right way, buddy. thread maybe you stick through there and kind of use it as a handle <laughs> no oh guide a guideline yeah you know, like a guideline Jacking the transaxle housing with the axle housing. Another inch. The frame. Three quarters, you're there. I'm preparing to bolt it together. Mm-hmm. 
push it this have way. have to move the axle housing around a bit in order to get the bolts to line up through the holes in the frame. Might just let it down a hair and then you can work every... There you go. Looks a lot better now. <laughs> yeah. That's the okay, I'll let it down and hang on those. Center itself. Gives us some audio. <laughs> This, this is walking up and down, that's why. I just need to tighten it up a little bit. Closer. Putting the drive shafts in. This is, engages the full drive. Disengages the front. Huh? What you working on there? This is the front PTO that goes to the drive shaft. Drive shaft that goes to the front wheel. Front wheels, four wheel. Makes it a four wheel tractor. This is the.